Americans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Heinz Field. Here alongside me is our color commentator, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, today's game features a contest between a core of skilled wide receivers and a squad of athletic, prolific defensive backs. Without question, Dan, it's a contest of speed and wits. The Steelers have a group of receivers with a great mix of talent. They make it awfully tough for defensive secondaries because they're just such a well-rounded, talented bunch. The Bills have a superb group of cornerbacks. The thing that stands out most about them is their tenacity. They fly all over the field at top speed, making... It's heads. Jeff Reed kicking off for the Steelers. There's the signal, and we're Steelers. ready. Football. Reed kicks it, and we are underway. McGahee gets it off the bounce at the 12. Breaks a tackle, tackled at the 25. The weather is a factor, and ESPN's very own Susie Culber has some information for it. Susie. Thank you, Dan. The snow is falling heavily right now and is really starting to blanket the field. The players are struggling to keep warm, and these conditions are definitely going to affect their play on the field. Back to you, fellas. Susie, thank you. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Eric Moulds muffed an almost guaranteed catch there, and as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. It's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Bledsoe throws this on a rope, and it's off incomplete. Lee Evans would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch incomplete. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. It's intercepted. Stop at the 29. Troy Palomalu does a great job reacting when he sees the passes off base and steps in to catch it. The snow can be such a wild card in the passing game. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Steelers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 29-yard line. Bettis gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and four. Ball at the 24 yard line. That can be a difficult tackle for someone of lesser skills, but he managed to make the stop. Yeah, he managed to stop a tank, too. What a play. Third down with the tight end right. Roethlisberger zips it to the left sideline and it's complete. Heinz Ward had all the time in the world on this play, Danny. He could have made himself a sandwich while he was waiting for the ball. <laughs> Always back to the food, Peter. Can't you think of anything else? Oh, well, let me see. No, I can't. Uh-huh. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. That was a great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Bettis gets the toss and runs into traffic. London Fletcher loves to stop the ground game. 5'10", 245, and a real talent for stuffing the run. He knows how to lay on a hit in the backfield. Bettis will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Let's go back and revisit that last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. 
Well, at just 5'10 and 245 pounds, London Fletcher is pretty small by NFL standards, but he's no dummy out there, earning the nickname .com for his ability to read offensive plays before they get started. Third down, two receivers to the left. Roethlisberger threw that one away. Incomplete pass. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, goal to go. Reed from 26 yards out, and they take the lead. Jeff Reed didn't let the snow nor the sleet deter him from nailing that kick for three points. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Reed doesn't get a lot of leg behind this one. Number 19 feels the short kick at the 16. Dodges a tackle, tackled at the 32. Number 19 made a mediocre kick a little more mediocre with a decent run back there. The Bills stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 32-yard line. Bledsoe dumps this one off, and this one is incomplete. Eric Moles had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow, it's not often you see him out of sync like this. Moles goes in motion. the 26. Boy, follow Malou. The sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D the past few downs for these guys. So sings it to the right side, and the reception's made at the 37, brought down hard at the 39. Palomalu was in on the tackle. Fourth down coming up. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Foreman lines up to punt after formation. the three and out. Antoine Randall to make the return. Foreman takes the snap and punts it away. Randall takes it at the 17. Drag down at the 20. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The Steelers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Roethlisberger tosses it deep down the left side and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Heinz Ward didn't have anybody on him and yet he couldn't make the catch. An impressive gain was theirs for the taking, but the ball falls incomplete. Peter, that could have been big. It sure could have. Staley takes his first carry of the game and heads up field. Deuce Staley sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down from the eye. <laughs> Bettis gets the call on first down, and heads left, tackled at the 46. Second and five. Counter. Ball. Bettis chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Izell Reese made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Watch the play 
Third and one. Ball at the Steelers, 50-yard line. Ward goes in motion. Bettis carries it for a third time in a row and runs into traffic. Jeff Posey was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered the into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers, for that matter. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Steelers with a small lead, three to nothing. Jerome Bettis plays some smash mouth football here. Bam! What a punishing shoulder charge. Peter, a questionable call, but the conversion worked. I'm sure the general consensus would be to punt it away. Yeah, punt it away and make them go the length of the field. But as we just saw, they got the first. What a play! Williams gets Williams. the sack the way sack. back at the 47. Pat Williams forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield back there. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Brought down at the... Ben Roethlisberger is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Bills have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their 42-yard line. Joey Porter, team rolls through and just zeroes in on the ball carrier. And there's the hit. Oh, oh they'll lose some yardage on that play. They didn't want to give up. I'm sure they're more worried about having to reteach that guy the playbook all over again. Man, that was a hit. Eric Moulds is squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. That's broken kind of a cold. Streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. First and ten. Ball at the 33. Takes it across the line of scrimmage and picks up a couple. Palomalu had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors, and they said that he's suffering from a hairline fracture in his arm. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Back to you, fellas. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Townsend makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Randall L. was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I spoke with the team doctor, and they think he's got a spinal injury. Back to you, Dan. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> Bledsoe rifles it out left side and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Ricardo Pocla came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Lindell boots it from 48 yards out and it's good. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We bring it. I'm bringing it. Ryan Lindell really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. There's
says the signal, and we're ready. Lindell booms a beauty here. Number 29 decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 22. Number 29 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Steelers had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 22-yard line. Ward catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Ben Roethlisberger made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. And boy, that was an excellent job of staying with his man, that time to make a good tackle. Yeah, it looked like the skate drill in practice. You keep your feet moving, zone in, and make the play. Perfectly done. Roethlisberger throws a big high lob, and it's complete at the 44. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. It will be first down. First down with two tight ends to the right. Bennett carries it for the ninth. The Steelers take their first time out. Second and seven. Ball at the 49. Larry, Larry, Larry. Single back. Single back. Down. 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 Rothless throws a heater, and the Steelers will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down from the shotgun. Ball at the 43. Bennett catches it in the flat and they convert First on third ten. down. Ball at the 41. Roethlisberger throws a heater right sideline and Passes it's incomplete. knocked away from the receiver Mine incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Jeff Posey ben Roethlisberger has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 50 yards and one interception. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. him down in the backfield and the clock Third continues to run. Ball at the 41. Roethlisberger <laughs> unloads this one to the left and it's Pass bobbled and dropped. Incomplete. Hines that Ward will bring up fourth receiver. down. Heinz Ward had a chance for a mid-range completion back there, but he just couldn't connect. No catch. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Way yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Gardaki gets ready to punt this return. away. Gardaki takes the long snap and punts it away. Brown heals the punt at the 15. Stopped at the 20. Antonio Brown didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Bills could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 20-yard line. Henry carries this one off to the right and picks up a couple. Number 53 with the tackle. Second down, tight end to the left. Ball at the Bills' 22-yard line. Reed goes in motion. So that'll bring the first half the of football of to a quarter. close as the clubs head to the locker room all time. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer?
Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Steelers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Troy Palomalu was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Steelers early in the first quarter. The Steelers with the ball at the 25-yard line. Ben Roethlisberger would find his target on this one. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Steelers now early in the second quarter. Steelers ahead by three. Nate Clements is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bills still in the second. Eric Mould is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. That set up a 49-yard field goal. Game tied, three all. Then Roethlisberger connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Steelers are keeping it evened up. We're tied, three all. Now, let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Pat Williams has played like a man possessed. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Steelers get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's get down to the field and the action. Lindell kicks it off to begin the second half. Paul Paul decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 22. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. All these numbers point to one thing, Dan, a defensive struggle. They can't get complacent. A single score will change the whole complexion of the game. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Culber. Susie. Thanks, Dan. Head coach Mike Malarkey took a moment to speak with me, and he said they've allowed too many long, time-consuming drives. With their offense off the field for so much of the game, they haven't been able to get into any sort of rhythm. He said they need the defenses to buckle down and come up with some big stops. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. Ward grabs the bullet, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Heinz Ward had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. I'm sure he's glad to finally make a completion, considering he's already Second dropped three. two today. Yeah. Ball at the Steelers, 29-yard line. Get the pass. Throw back. Throw back. picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Jerome Bettis had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Interceptor! Drag down at the 31. London Fletcher shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Bills offense takes the field, and they are already in field goal position. They'll line up at the 31-yard line. Bledsoe just rifles this one, and the completion is good for six. Drew Bledsoe played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Evans falls in the pass and gets past the markers for a first down. Lee Evans made the catch down, without any two. challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, two wideouts on the field. 
Bledsoe fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Eric Moulds had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Well, do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? I almost have to do both right here. Henry takes the handoff and will lose about a yard here. Aaron Smith not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Henry picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Travis Henry had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Evans goes in motion. Logan makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth and goal. Mike Logan came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was a fantastic job by the What's defense to stop on, what would have been a first down. I love to see Big D on third and short situations. Fourth down, defenses love to hear that from the refs. Lindell from 19 yards, score. and they take the lead. Ryan Lindell knocked in an easy short one for three points. You can tell he didn't doubt for a second that he'd made that. Ryan Lindell kicking off for the bill. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Lindell rockets this one deep. Colclo decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 22. Ricardo Colclo took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Steelers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Burris goes in motion. Roethlisberger zips it to the left sideline, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Lee Mays made a nifty little run there and got the first. Nice job. The head coach is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want to challenge. Buffalo is challenging whether the player stepped out of bounds. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. Keep an eye on him to see if he goes out of bounds here. Watch him and watch the sidelines. After review, the player stepped out of bounds. The ball will be spotted at the 30-yard line. Buffalo will not be charged to timeout. Second down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Second and two. Ball at the Steelers, 30-yard line. Bettis gets the call on second down and heads wide left. Right down at the 35. First down. Jerome Bettis took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Denny crushes him behind the line at the 33. Jerome Bettis just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get 28 yards on 13 carries. Second down, 12 yards to go. Ball at the Steelers, 33-yard line. Vincent tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. 
Troy Vincent was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. And that'll do it for the third That's quarter. The, the Bills the with quarter. a small lead, 6-3. to three. No dice, and it falls incomplete. incomplete. It'll be Plexico fourth down. Plexico Burris went for the mid-range completion on that one, but didn't get it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Gardaki lines up for the punt. Gardaki gets the snap and punts it away. Brown. Fields it at the 31. Tackled at the 37. Antonio Brown didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bills will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at the 37-yard line. Barrier tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. James Ferrier not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Henry gets the call again and gets past the line. Stopped at the 37. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner. Stepping up and doing his job. They get the first on third and long. Oh, what was that? Come on, Steelers. Let's play some D. First down, first both wide outs to the right. Ball at the 47. Stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Number 53 with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the 47. Bell was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Foreman gets ready to punt this away. Foreman gets the ball and punts it away. Oh, catches it back at the 10. Brought down at the 12. Okay, okay, Ricardo Colclough didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Steelers will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 146. Roethlisberger rifles it out left side and it's incomplete. 
Number 89 was the intended receiver. Nate Clements with the Ben Roethlisberger is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 65 yards and two interceptions. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.42. Mays didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Lawyer Malloy kept both eyes on the short out on that one and caused the incomplete pass. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Third down from the shotgun. Rothless zings it to the right side, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Pass interference, number 36, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Lori Malloy slapped down. around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and 10. Ball at the Steelers, 18-yard line. Single back. Down. Set. Down. Clements tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Nate Clements came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down from the on. Roethlisberger just rifles this one, and they can't connect. Incomplete. And if we can back up a moment, that was a great play Nate breaking Clements up that pass attempt. Cover. Well, and Nate Clements was the first cornerback drafted back in 2001, and he stepped right out of Columbus and into his starter role in the secondary. He just not looked back. He is a good one, baby. Third down. The clock is stopped at 129. Ford catches it in. The Steelers will take a timeout. That's their second. Fourth and seven. Ball at the Steelers, 21-yard line. Roethlisberger throws a heater right sideline, and it's intercepted. He's in for the touchdown. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Brian Lindell to attempt the extra point. Brian Mormon holding. <laughs> Now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Lindell booms a beauty here. Number 29 decides to take it out of the end zone. Dragged down at the 26. Number 29 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Steelers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1-12. <laughs> Mays catches it left sideline and tries to get free. Tackle then. The Steelers take a timeout. That's their final one. First down, three wideouts in the game. Roethlisberger throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped. 
Incomplete. Nate Clements came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Second down. The clock is stopped at one minute. Ball at the 48-yard line. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Thomas had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors. They said he's suffering from a hyperextended elbow. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Third down with the tight end right. Loffelisberger fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. Loffelisberger spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, one man back. Ball at the 29. Roethlisberger uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Pass interference, number 24, defense. The penalty is declined. First down, the clock is stopped at 37. No good, incomplete. Incomplete with the deflection. Come on, Pittsburgh, green in the end zone. Press, 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 press. Second and goal. Ball at the seventh. Roethlisberger rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Panenka tackles him for a touchback. Izel Reese gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. Loss of one on the play. tonight's game. The Bills come out on top 13 to 3. For my partner Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Bills stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Werewolves of London Fletcher show some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Bills, after getting an interception, the Bills with possession at the 18. Drew Bledsoe would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up an extra point-like 19-yard field goal. Bills leading by three. Drew Bledsoe would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Steelers on defense. Troy Vincent was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off, but he wasn't done there. Touchdown for the Bills. Steelers behind 13-3. 
Izell Reese would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bills win this one 13 to 3. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. The guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Troy Vincent is standing by with our Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You played brilliantly. An impressive performance in what turned into an impressive win. What gave you guys the edge today? I really think our linebackers played well today. They're reading the plays, getting after the ball. Man, look like a pack of wild dogs out there. They played big time today, so yeah, I gotta tip my cap to them. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.